when you're thinking about your workflows, these are essentially what you and the you as the writer and the customer will experience as they go through your order. So if we look at our workflows here, we have a couple of different examples of what a workflow might look like. So you could have a different workflow depending on the different type of service you offer from the resume, a cover letter, a LinkedIn profile content, or something completely different, any digital deliverable that you need input from the customer and yourself as the writer um, or contributor to achieve the final result. I also even use this for things like coaching sessions. So you can see, you know, maybe there's a document or an exercise that the, um, the customer might have to complete and then they would schedule a session or you know in whatever order you're used to operating so these are highly customizable so when we go to create an order we're going to create our own workflow so the workflow here let's say this is for your resume uh, your client's new resume um, what are the steps that they need to complete in order to get that resume review the resume, and then receive the final document. And you can just use these modules to drag and drop into your workflow to customize it. You can even edit the module by clicking this blue icon here in order to rename or add reminders. So I'll show you what that looks like next. So for example, if the first thing that they need to do is upload their original resume, you might wanna go in here and edit this document to say, instead of upload document, um, upload maybe your original, original resume um, or other documents. This is an uploader module for the customer, so they can upload as many documents as they would like. It's not just limited to one. So you can even put a longer title in here to be more, more descriptive. For example like that you can also choose to add a reminder here so your reminder one in one days you can add multiple reminders you can set up the email how that would look so this might be you know a test email hey don't forget this um, however your language you know you want to you want to do that um, then you can submit to save this um, this reminder here. You can also add additional reminders or delete ones if you've messed up or need to change anything. So now you have, an, as part of your workflow, upload this original document. Um, if, the, if there's like an appointment that they have to schedule, you could add the schedule appointment module. You can rename that one as well. Maybe you wanna say schedule your coaching call or something like that. And then the revision process, that's your powerful module that allows you to go back and forth on the draft with the, with the client or the customer. So when you have the first draft, you'll submit it to them. They'll click on this revision process and you can rename this of course too, and give you their feedback. So then from there, you would return a new draft potentially um, in order to advance the project. And then of course you can also add a final document these down here come from your questionnaires. So when you create a questionnaire, you know you may wanna add that as part of your workflow, things that you need from the customer that isn't just an upload this document, which is what we did here. So I created this intake questionnaire, I'm gonna add that intake questionnaire here too. So then you would add the workflow to save it. Adding the workflow doesn't do anything on the client side, they don't see anything. It just basically publishes this workflow so that you can use it in your products. So don't worry about adding the workflow and whether that will do anything to your, um, you know, your client facing side. From there, once you've added that workflow, you can go to your products, build a product, and add the workflow that is appropriate to that product. So that's how we're building workflows into products. And that's where if you have a resume, cover letter, and a LinkedIn, for example, as part of one product that you would sell to your customer, you would add the resume workflow, the LinkedIn workflow, um, and you know maybe something else like a coaching session or your cover letter. So that's how workflows work in brief, and that's how you would add them to your product later.